For this tutorial, we're going to give you a quick overview of calculations that we just put in into the new 111A version. To demonstrate this, I'm going to start off with creating a, a table, give you a better visual idea of what we're doing. I have seven columns and one row. We're going to demonstrate it here. Say we're in cooling systems, this is going to be an AC unit. So let's call this unit number one. This is going to be the supply temp. And this will be the return temp and the difference. And I'm going to write justify these so the temperature will show up right next to the text. And I'm going to spread this out just a little bit so it doesn't wrap. Move that over. There we go. I'm also going to save this because I want to show you two different ways to do calculations. Uh, we'll call this unit 2. Okay, now all we got to do is put a formula in. That's done by hitting this button that says insert formula. In there we're going to we're going to do it positionally. So, uh, let me slide that down a little bit. The first method we can use relative positioning. So, we want it left want to subtract the return temp from the supply temp. So this is where we are. So left 1, 2. So we put in a left 2 from where we are. Minus left, that was 2, 3, 4. So we're going to subtract the fourth one. So if we're entering this in whole numbers, we might as well not show decimal places. Okay? Calculated because there's no values in there, so it calculated to 0. Let's put in some numbers like 58, degrees and a return temperature of 76. Now it's not going to update the calculations until you hit save and then you can see it's 18 degrees with the difference. Another way to do this calculations is to name your paragraphs and reference the values by the paragraph name. So you can right click on the paragraph, give it a name, and we're going to call this supply 2 for the second unit and this one we're going to name it return to okay so the formula that we can put in can reference it by name which will be return to minus supply to again we don't need the decimal places say okay now to see what you've named paragraphs, you can double click this twice and you can see what they're called. So let's zoom in a little bit. See, so supply to is that, return to. I'm going to see the uh, formula. You can just click on that, return to minus supply to. Again, there was no values in here. Let me turn the display off. Let's do 60 and 75. Again, it won't update until we say save. You also, since they're labeled, the names, you can put this anywhere. You can say like unit do differential was. And you can put that same formula in here. It's the return to minus supply to. So anywhere, you can reference any paragraph name anywhere in the topic that you're currently in. And say OK. And there you go. Oh, we didn't put, get rid of the devil's places. OK. And now when it looks nice, we can go ahead and just get rid of all the borders of that table and this table. Alright, all that, turn the borders off. And there you go. And now if we change one of these to like 55, save. And as you see, it updated it. Likewise for here, if we made it one degree difference, save, see both numbers were updated. Hope that helps you do your formulas a little bit better. Thank you.